Okay. Now, I'm going to show you how to make the world's most comfortable motorcycle seat cushion. I bought a, I think they call it squish uh, pad, seat pad here. It was basically gel, it's a gel pad, and it's supposed to be pretty comfortable. Well, I rolled it a little bit on it, and basically what happened was the gel, once it settles down to your tailbone, it's just as hard as the seat. It doesn't really do any good. I right? get a little bit of a, uh, a comfort there. So, how to make this the world's most comfortable seat cushion. First, you tear it open, you take out the guts of it, and I've already done this, so this is what the gel looks like. It's a white, this, this is the gel that's in that seat cushion, all right? It's in a plastic bag, and it's, it's just uh, junk. So you take that out, basically gut it, so there's nothing in it. Get rid of all the plastic and everything. Then you go to Purple, uh, I think just purple.com, they make the mattresses and, uh, and seat cushions and things like that. They do not make a motorcycle seat cushion. So you go buy a nice purple uh, seat cushion. This is the Everywhere uh, model. It is not designed for outdoor at all. It's very flimsy as far as the, uh, um, uh, the cover. So, so what you do here is you basically here, you go in, unzip it, pull out the guts of it, which is a gel, all right? And I have already trimmed this. Get rid of the cushion, or the, the cover. So now you've got the two gel pads. These are honeycomb, made like honeycomb. All right, that is what makes these things so comfortable because each of these honeycombs absorb and the other ones that are, they're not sitting directly on push back. So this is a very, very comfortable seat in itself. Last year, uh, we literally took these and took them out of the, uh, the cushions and laid them sideways on the motorcycle seat and put a, um, fur or one of the sheepskin covers over it. It was very comfortable. But I was looking for something a little more permanent. So what we've done, I tried this also last year and hated it. So, and it was like $90, I think. So now what we're doing, we completely gutted it and we're inserting just the gel uh, purple cushion. And And I am not a handyman, and I make a mess, and I'm doing this with my wife and not around because once she sees the gel that I pulled out of that other one all over the place, she's going to have a fit. I did it back here. But that's okay. We'll get this video done before she gets back so you won't see the carnage that ensues. All right. Once you get this in, now, what I'm going to have to do, this is just a strap that goes underneath the other thing. What I'm going to have to do here I'm about a seamstress. I don't know how to sew. So I'm gonna take this up to my local sewer and have them reattach the seam on this. That's what I cut off, my handy knife over there. Have this reattached or maybe put a, probably put a new one on it. So now we've got the design of the squish, which is designed for the motorcycle. Sort of messed up, so I've got that gel all over me. Look at that. That's that stuff that's in that cushion. How terrible. All right, so now we've got a squished design with a purple inside. This is going to be the world's most comfortable cushion. I have tested the purple underneath a um, uh, sheepskin for a 10,000 mile trip from Florida to the tip of Washington State and back. These are great. It was just a little bit aggravating. I had to stick it on there, put the uh, uh, the fur on there, on the sheepskin on there, pulling back off, packing it. This way, I'm gonna have it all concentrated right here together. Fits perfectly on, on the seat. Now you've got the honeycomb, most comfortable seat in the world. I've contacted Purple and asked them to, to create one. 
yeah, they blew me off. So I make my own. Now, that is the most comfortable seat I can tell you. They don't even, they don't sell these. That's what I did. And I'll do a follow-up on it on another trip uh, in uh, September of this year. Uh, it's going to be about a 7,000 mile trip, Florida to uh, uh, Las Vegas, uh, through the back roads of New Mexico, Arizona, and work our way up to Colorado, stop by uh, uh, Utah, and, uh, and head on back. Should be about six, 7,000 miles, and I will give you a follow-up on this to see if it is as good as I proclaim it to be. Anywho, thanks for watching.